we had two uh, two cases. Uh, one uh, uh, both based on uh, private companies. One ethics in, in Denmark, and the other one uh, Sopra in, in, in France. And uh, that uh, I, I was actually impressed because there's real world experience, and in some cases many years of accumulated experience. And we had, or uh, at least I had the pleasure of learning about some uh, how. Uh, these things uh, allow to solve tricky or complex situations. We had an example from, from Denmark, from a, uh, a large company losing a bid, and the solution being able to track down why they lost it. Uh, so it's auditable, uh, there, uh, there's record management, so it's something serious that can, uh, that can uh, really solve real world problems. So, uh, what are the outcomes of, of uh, these two solutions? Uh, which are already being exported, so I, I, I didn't mention this. Uh, the solution from Denmark is operating in, in uh, Portugal uh, with the government agency and in Slovakia, and the solution from, from France uh, is being exported uh, to several European regions, and it has the beauty that uh, it's being exported in, uh, in a common framework. So it's, it's a common project where different regions uh, from Europe will be able to uh, use the same platform and, and, uh, and uh, receive bids from uh, suppliers of different countries. So that's uh, a very interesting uh, added value. So what is the outcome of these uh, uh, projects? Uh, and, and it's common to both cases. Uh, there's a significant productivity increase. Uh, there's a, a, a lot or a, a much higher quality in the process because uh, there's no uh, uh, wrong data because of uh, typo errors. Uh, we have things like uh, uh, sponsorship management and this is especially tricky in uh, public agencies <coughs> when elections come and you have government changes. So you, you have to make sure that things uh, can evolve uh, in different political uh, environments. Uh, deployment, of course, is an issue. Uh, uh, there's a big issue also in, in, in having, uh, and I think this was especially relevant in France because it's extremely complex uh, public administration. We have, I think you mentioned, 36,000 different uh, municipalities. With uh, So being able to reuse uh, the solution across the, those 36,000 uh, municipalities is a big challenge. And also uh, a big challenge is uh, what I call the dual channel management. Uh, you're never going to, uh, to, um, to get all the returns of the investment from uh, having people transact electronically if you have at the same time to, uh, to, uh, to um, handle the burden of the analog channel simultaneously. So, in that case, the electronic channel is just an overcost. It's not a savings. So, what one of the conclusions uh, of this flag is, please uh, enforce these things by law. So, you can one day cut the analog channel and that's it, and you only have to handle the digital channel. Next, it was mentioned, I think, in both cases, that in some countries, you have to pay to transact digitally. So. In the end, I'm saving the government money, but I have to pay. If I send it in paper, I don't pay. If I send it electronically, which is supposed to be cheaper to the government, I have to pay. And that I, I, I understand is a no-no. And uh, in, the, in, in, the, in, the, in the bottom line, I think that uh, this, and not specifically uh, uh, e uh, sorry, uh, e-tendering, uh, but the digitization of the supply chain is, is, is here to stay. Uh, so it's, it's a reality. We have far more enablers today than we have inhibitors, but uh, nonetheless, some inhibitors. And I think the largest one, by far, and not only but for what we heard in, in the track, but what we've heard uh, uh, the whole day and what we hear in other places is standardization. I think it's great that we have many uh, initiatives, I think uh, the market works very well and, it, and, it, and it's beautiful that we have 1,000 e-tendering platforms, but please with one standard or at least with a reduced number of standards. Otherwise, uh, 
we are doing a lot of work that has no value added and we're creating, which is something that also came in the track, we are creating chasms along the digital chain. We have things that we have solutions for the pre-awarding phase and then we cannot transport the bits to the post-awarding phase. So that's basically it. And thank you very much.